Hi Libra, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading we're going to take a look and see uh, what messages are coming up for you in terms of love and romance for the week ahead. It is going to be a general reading guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video. Otherwise, let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle and let's see what's coming up for you. Balance seems to be a reoccurring theme, okay? Um, you need to bring out something into the open here, guys. There is, you've been feeling, you've been getting some sort of vibes or some sort of, um, some sort of, you know, intuitive associations. Your intuition has been trying to tell you something about a person, about a situation, about a romantic connection, or perhaps you're like your relationship. Don't ignore that. You've been having some very strong intuition about a person or about a situation here and basically you know the the energies here in the cards here are asking you to probe those feelings because it's coming from you know it's coming from somewhere it's not made up energy doesn't lie okay and it feels like there is some sort of imbalance so for some of you you know your intuition is it is it's it's always you know wanting to guide you in the right direction it's always wanting what's best for you but a lot of the times people ignore their intuition because um well simply for the fact that you know they may their intuition may be right there is some sort of imbalance or some sort of injustice some sort of you know there's a very a, an energy of deception or dishonesty or deceit and you're ignoring that Okay, you're feeling it and it's um, manifesting itself in different ways, maybe through action, through words, through behavior, through someone's, you know, energy, their intentions, but it feels like you're ignoring it because, you know, you want to believe in the best in this person, you want to give this person the benefit of the doubt, or, you know, you want to, and maybe you have in the past, you've made excuses and it's something that you've grown quite accustomed to doing and then you keep on doing it, so... You know, the, the High Priestess is most certainly asking you to probe your feelings a little bit further. Because the High Priestess is also about secrecy, isn't isn't it? And, um, you know, the, the cards obviously here with the Six of Pentacles as an imbalance. There are two very different figures depicted in the image here. There's the one that is the giver, the one that is the taker. But notice how the scales unbalance, indicating to us a, le a, a lack of balance, a lack of equilibrium. So someone he is giving... The other person is taking, but there's no balance. So someone here is taking more than they should, okay? Or is not giving enough as they should. Um, you know, Seven of Swords is an energy of deception. Someone here is doing something that they know they probably shouldn't be doing, but yet, guess what? They've got their fingers crossed and they're hoping to get away with it. You know, Nine of Swords is an energy of guilt, an energy of shame being kept up at night. You know, it's worry, it's recurring thoughts, recurring nightmares. It's something that, it's like this dark cloud that follows someone everywhere they go and they can't shake the thought. It's also very re reoccurring due to the repetitious um, swords here. So, and you know, and you've got the justice which is which is all about karma which is all about truth cause and effect here so for some of you it, it just you know you might be involved with someone who isn't necessarily who they're not who they say they are you might be in a situation and it's not what it seems okay your person might be painting a very different picture of what the two of you have or what they want for the connection and they're not being honest with you the deceit and deception could also lie with you though, okay? Maybe you're the one that's being dishonest and deceitful and your guilty conscience is finally catching up to you and you feel, you know, really weighed down by guilt, regret and shame but you just don't know how to communicate it to your loved, to your loved one here, to your romantic interest. Maybe you've stopped loving them and you've been, you know, disloyal and dishonest here. You've been maybe having affairs, emotional or even physical affairs here. Um, 
intimate affairs with you know someone else but you can't bring yourself to tell this person the truth it's you know it's something needs to be brought out into the light because there's secrecies that are being kept here but you know if it's a secret it's it's it's, it's probably something you shouldn't or they shouldn't be doing right so um, the other thing is the high priestess, it could also, she could represent an emotional love affair that doesn't necessarily or hasn't yet manifested in the physical sense. So, you know, someone he could be very flirtatious um, with a romantic energy that they're not involved with, okay, but they're flirting up a storm with this person. So, for example, it could be you, you could be flirting up a storm with someone other than your person, other than your romantic energy. Or your romantic energy is, you know, flirting up a storm with someone else who isn't you. So, and it, you know, it's not necessarily a physical affair, but it is emotional cheating because it's an emotional love affair. Um, so, you know, the justice is asking you or is asking your person here to take personal responsibility for the actions because every action ultimately is going to have a reaction and every action will have a consequence even a lack of action will also have a consequence so someone he is being urged to take you know personal responsibility owe up to their mistakes owe up to their dishonest actions owe up to their deception here um if it's your person and you know you know if they've given you reason to mistrust them if in the past they've hurt you, mis you know, betrayed you, if you know this is someone who's capable of, you know, lying and deception, and if you know that, the, you know, this is what they're up to, you need to call them out, okay? Because not saying anything, you're essentially, you're essentially encouraging it, are you? You know, by standing idly by, you're just, you're, and you're allowing it to happen. You know it's happening, but you're you know, maybe you're afraid to speak up or maybe you just don't want to face the consequences. You need to do it because at the end of the day, you know, you can't ignore, you can't, those unaddressed issues, whether they're emotional issues or, you know, whatever the issue here, um, for you personally, you can't, this is something that cannot be ignored any longer because it's just, it's mounting up and even if you're just suspicious even if you don't have any evidence you need to have a conversation with them you need to let them know how you feel because your emotions are validated you feel what you feel for a reason okay even if you're being paranoid you're allowed to okay it, you're allowed to feel that way but it's important that you need to you need to share it with your person here there's definitely an imbalance there, there may have been a shift or there may you know be this occurring shift in the energies so someone is a little bit more invested in the connection and the other person someone is overcompensating for the other person's lack of efforts how by constantly doing too much in a relationship by constantly giving too much of themselves and maybe they're doing it because they know you know that this is someone who is losing interest this isn't some this is someone who is just you know they're not they're losing interest or you know they don't want to invest in the relationship as much and this person here is that you know they're going ahead and doing something unhealthy like ignoring and and you know ignoring the issue at hand here and furthermore they 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 are then overcompensating to make this person stay okay it's not genuine it's not sincere so whoever this is they need to be aware that their actions are not healthy and they too will have consequences it will backfire um, yeah, Nine of Swords is this really heavy energy. There is some form of contact or communication that is coming in for you or some contact or communication that should be happening, um, but for whatever reason you're avoiding it. Okay, so it's time to face the truth. It's time to be honest with yourself. It's time to be honest with this person here. It's time to, you know, call them out. It's time to take personal accountability or Call them out for their actions so they can take personal accountability for their actions here it's time to have that conversation that you've been avoiding and you know don't sweep it under the rug anymore don't push it back any later the time is now because the longer you go on the bigger it's going to build up and the bigger the problem it's just going to mount up on you and the more 
pain and hurt that's going to cause you in the process and you don't want that and as painful as it might be to deal with it now it'll be that much more painful dealing with it you know weeks or even months from now okay guys these are your messages thanks so much for watching and listening please share your support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel bye